this attacker obviously planned the operation. He went to the arena at a time when security, if for no other way to describe it, is relaxed. The concert's almost over. There's no screening for people going in. They had already let parents in to meet their kids as they were coming out. So he goes into the outer portion there, the foyer, and waits. What's also interesting about the timing is you've got a very large density of people now leaving the concert, which gives him a greater opportunity for fatalities and injuries because they're all in one place. ISIS has claimed responsibility. Of course, there's no proof of that. There are some inconsistent statements, as you've mentioned, but it's not unusual that they would claim responsibility for something like this. They have promoted and, and really pushed for an attack like this. These are not imported attackers. They're not immigrants. They're not refugees. These are individuals that in some cases have lived there the majority of their lives or even born there. So they know the area. He probably knew the stadium. It was not picked by accident. He doesn't have to get trained up for this operation. He knows the terrain very well. And that's a huge tactical advantage when you've got someone who was born and raised in the area within a couple of miles of what they're going to hit. If you don't represent women in politics,